Every since I found that Christ has been something in my life who makes me feel like a flying away to be at rest, to be at rest. Oh, sometimes I stumble every now and then, but Jesus keeps my soul from sin and makes me fly to my home to be at rest. Words plus melodies equal music. Whether through singing, writing, arranging, or simply listening, music was truly the fabric of John's life. John Williams Jr. was born on March the 11th of 1948 in Asheville, North Carolina. Born into a family with seven brothers, he was the eldest son of John Williams Sr. and Clara Bowditch Williams. The schools he attended included Stevens Lee High School, South French Broad Senior High School, and Asheville Buncombe Technical College. Growing up in a family known for its collective musical talent and appreciation, John developed a passion for learning, words, and music. His greatest passion, however, was for his wife. My friends all say On October the 1st of 1972, he married Viola Webb, which resulted in a beautiful duet. Their romance began with their meeting at a church basketball game on his birthday. After marriage, she located to Asheville and they both were very active members of the Bethel Seventh-day Adventist Church. He served for many years as elder in addition to many other roles in the church. His gift of music blessed many through his melodic versatility. His vocal range went from first tenor to second bass. The first group he sang with was the Adventeers, a quartet which included three of his brothers. He went on to sing with other groups such as the Reynolds Miller Chorale, the Gospel Winds, and the Bethel Seventh-day Adventist Chorale.
On July the 27th of 1980, the Williams household was blessed with the addition of Jeremy Jonathan Williams, who would be a light of his parents' lives until an unfortunate automobile accident on Swannanoa River Road in 1999 extinguished Jeremy's light too soon. However, his tragedy inspired John and Viola to passionately work to lobby for a guardrail to prevent further accidents, and as a result, the aptly named Jeremy's Rails were installed on Swannanoa River Road to save lives. You can't hurry God, oh no. You just have to wait. After John's retirement, he enjoyed volunteering in Bethel's community service department. He also supported programming of the Asheville Buncombe Institute of Parity Achievement. He went on to share his health experiences to help educate the community on how to live a healthier life. Everyone loves John. Always true to his biblical namesake, John the Beloved, Elder John William was truly loved and respected. John's legacy and love of life will be cherished by his wife, family, friends, and colleagues for years to come. Each of them have their own stories that bring both tears and laughter. But this we know to be true. The live concert of his life, exhibited by his consistency, the gift of his gentle spirit, his smile, the angelic voice will be treasured through the soundtrack of memories and melodies he left behind to inspire us. Words plus melodies equal music. Some say he's coming in the morning about my Savior. Gonna make a journey by train. Some say he'll be riding in a chariot. I say it's shaped don't like the angel's wing. I don't know don't how my Lord's coming. But don't, don't let him you catch you with your work I'm done. Savior. You know he may, may not come when you want him, but he's right on time. Right on time. You know, Job was sick so long until the flesh fell from his bones. He had a wife and some children. Everything he had was gone. You know, the Lord permitted those afflictions upon him. But don't let him catch you with your work undone. You know, he may not come when you want him, but he's right on time. Right on time. Well, you can't hurry God. Oh no, you just have to wait. Well, you got to.